everybody. Do some rappelling up here in Echo Canyon, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, Camelback Mountain. Um, it's a great little place to do this. It's a great public park. The tie-ins are put in by the uh, Phoenix Fire Department, so you know they're good and safe um, for you to do. Uh, in a little bit, we'll show you what the uh, tie-in anchors look like. Um, handle a lot of good weight, and it's a lot of good fun. Uh, there's actual numerous little spots here. This is kind of the intermediate one. Um, down there, right over in front of us, is the little rock. Uh, it's about a 30 or 40 foot on the, the back side there, uh, which is also a great little starter rock and just as fun as well. And I think really there's another one up on top. It's a little farther. And then there's one for you really advanced crazy people up on the Monk on Praying Monk, but you know, we're not that crazy to climb that. <laughs> so um, it's uh, Saturday, Phoenix, Arizona. Weather's like 60 degrees. It's a great day. See you guys later. All right, one of our uh, basic tie-ins for repelling, the double figure eight, one of the most secure knots. It's also called a tension knot. Um, you see buddy Chris here already has one set up. Take your rope in front, behind, and back through the top. That makes your basic figure eight knot. Let me zoom in, hold on. There you go. To make your double figure eight knot, find your tie-off point. In this case, we're using a very large permanent anchor already secured. You can also use something such as a tree with a decent sized uh, base. I'm gonna have different programs. Go through your, uh, your anchor point and basically you're just tracing the snake back through its hole. Through the bottom, around What's the tree, up, back down, be fast. around, well, and back up. up Get a nice little pull, tighten it up. You have your double figure eight. Next thing you can do, like Chris has already done, just give it a quick, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just a real quick locking knot. A couple twists around, pull it back through. And that'll just, uh, just as kind of a double backup that nothing's gonna slip or, uh, or come undone while you're going down. And with that, you're good to go. There we go. Bye! That's normally where mine sits. All right. Yeah, no, no big deal. Right. How do you run down this thing? Huh? How do you run down this thing? <laughs> go down to the bottom, I'll show you. Even backwards, you were like, Brrr. I was like, he's like a spider. He's not afraid of hitting the ground. How do you say El Recluse in Spanish? El Recluso? <laughs>
don't normally do this unless I'm in a hurry. Yeah, go for it. 